Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 cutty, black with the purple strip. Good, fam squad, Ravens fam, what is good? So, this might be a quick video, I don't know. Um, There's trouble in the Ravens locker room. Yeah, I think it's due. Um, I remember when Ray Lewis and um, Brian Billick was uh, having their little situation and Ray went, to, correct me if I'm wrong, Ray went on the radio and pretty much blasted him. This was before Twitter and all of this stuff now we have. And let them know there's problems. Now... Um, we've seen, you know, Hollywood Browns with the soldiers comment. We saw that. Um, that to me was to Greg Roman and Harbs. Okay, and what do we see Hollywood doing? He's out there balling with a different play scheme, different offense. He's balling. Um, but what does the Ravens do with Harbs? They keep the same thing. They keep the same energy. They keep something that has never worked for as a winning a Super Bowl. It hasn't worked. And they keep this person. San Francisco, do they win a Super Bowl with Greg Roman? No. Bills, they went to the playoffs. And that's because, you know, the Ravens lost and they went to the playoffs. And then after that, they got rid of him after, I believe, one year, maybe two. And then he lands with Harbs. Now, with that, it's also, see, got even my son is crying. I know, son. I know. I know. We, we stuck with Greg Roman and Harbs. He's, he's very upset. But... The thing I continually hear and see, and I see other uh, Ravens YouTubers say the same thing. Harbs always hires some, almost always, I would say, almost always. I know some people are like, no, 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 that, that one time. Okay. That Harbs always either hires someone that he's worked with in the past when he was with Philly or his brother has had him. Or they just like a family friend. Every single time. They are either a family friend or something like that. And it's like, dude. Come on. I even seen somebody said this. And I was like, oh, snap. I forgot about that. And it was true. The owner of the Ravens, Steve Bishotti, had to force Harbs to hire Gary Kubiak. Harbs did not want to hire him. And I, I think that's true. I cannot 100% remember it a while back. But I think that is true. And what was... Gary Kubiak was one of the best offensive coordinators when we went up uh, for Flacco. Because Flacco had Cam, Trey... I could, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all look at it. had no YouTube channel when Cam was... Oh, I was talking about firing that dude for the longest. Anyway... So, Cam had to fire him. It took a long time. And then Jim came on, Super Bowl, whooped the whoop, whatever. Kubiak, I know I'm not probably going in order, but Kubiak came one of the best freaking seasons. Because we know Flacco was not no season person. He was a playoff person. One of the best freaking seasons Flacco ever had under that Gary Kubiak system. And Hobbs didn't want this dude. Then Gary Kubiak leaves, goes to the Broncos. Hello, Super Bowl. You can't make this up. You can't make it up. But anyway, yes, yeah, so Harbs hires all his friends. His brother had Greg Roman, Mark Martin with, uh, freaking up. Uh, look at our defense coordinator now, Mike. Mike was with the Harps, then he went to his brother, then he came back to Harps. Dude, look on the outskirts, but he don't want to do that, and we're stuck with that. Should, should Harps be on the hot seat? In my opinion, 
his seat, the metal at the bottom should be melting because the seat should be already burnt. It should be already like a puddle. That's how hot it should be. The cushion, all that, that should be crispy. But man, this just, then Marlon Humphrey sends out this tweet. Insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Advertising. And what do we see? And I believe that quote right there with him, and everybody knows. Like, like, ch ch check this video. Check this video of Marlon Humphrey. Marlon, uh, what's kind of the mindset for this team after? seems like it's kind of been a reoccurring theme about not being able to finish off those games. Uh, we'll watch the film and then we'll, uh, we'll figure it all out uh, Tuesday when we get in the building. Carl, what's the message amongst the players? Just you know, not talking about the specifics of the game, but just being in this position and, and not being able to finish again. Yeah, well, the game just got finished, so I haven't really talked to anybody uh, since the game's finished. Marlon, do you feel like you guys are beating yourselves at this point? Uh, we haven't rewatched really watched the film, so we'll watch the film and then we'll figure out uh, what we're doing wrong. Thanks. Okay. You see that attitude? You see he is just, you know, everybody knows Marlon Humphrey. He's a dog on the field. He's the happy-go-lucky dude in the locker room. You see that body, body language is like, he's just like fed up. And there's so many what routes you can take this, but I'm with them. Defense, like, dude, deep, this could be toward the defense coordinator. could be toward Hobbs. It could be toward Greg Roman. It could be toward all three of them. Because Greg Roman, he does the same thing. Hobbs, he rinse and repeat. That dude copy and paste his words so much, it's ridiculous. Then, on top of that, Mike McDonald had a form, whatever his name is. Same thing. Same exact. Same exact thing. We see the defense just choking it up in the fourth. And he probably doing the same thing over and over for us to play calling. And it's just tiring, man. It's tiring. I feel, I feel for I feel for them players, cause they're stuck. And us Ravens block, we're stuck too. We're stuck with a crappy coach as with Harbs. We're st stuck with Lamar Jackson not having a wide receiver because Ravens don't want to pay. I would love DJ Moore. It's not happening. DJ Moore is is due for for money. He's due for a contract. Ravens don't pay that. They're stuck in their old 1996 ways of just running the ball. Jamal Lewis is not back there. Ray Rice is not back there. Gus isn't back there. JK, hey, he's not even back there. <laughs> Mark Ingram is not even back there. And the league is built for passing. I know people, you can't be one-dimensional. Yeah, it's a lot of teams that's not one-dimensional. But when they, they pass game be killing, then they start running. And they have a good running back. You don't need to just concentrate on one thing. Everybody knows that. This system is not built for Lamar. This system is built for Greg Roman and Harv's ego. That's really all it comes down to is the ego. Harv has a huge ego. I remember one... Um, interview or whatever Ed Reed was talking about how Hobbs came in there after he got hired hey this is how we're going to do it and this and that and they was like whoa whoa we don't do that over here whoa and you see since Hobbs it, Ravens used to have that mean pedigree then it started just dwindling down and down and down we don't even have that mean pedigree anymore I believe we have some players that can show that dog, like Marcus Peters. Heck, Marlon Humphrey when he's upset. But we see what he did to OBJ when he was a brown. You know what I'm saying? That that dog. 
Lamar Jackson showing attitude on the side. It's like they just, no, no, let's just, just stay peaceful. We're up by a couple of points, fellas. Let's not, let's not embarrass this team now, okay? Forget that. No. This ain't the same Ravens, man. Just like what Rex Ryan said a couple of weeks back, this is not your dad's Ravens. And I'm a dad. And this is not my Ravens. It's ridiculous. But, yeah. So, we're stuck with this, y'all. We're stuck with this. So, uh, yeah. Don't put no don't put no energy in it. We're stuck with Harps. We're stuck with Greg Roman. We're stuck with Mike Mike McDonald had a forum. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I have a good